Chris Kids, this is Gindorf here along with Mr. Barras, your wind teachers, wanting to bring you some activities that you can be doing at home. Today's activity for reading that we're going to be talking about is about fluency. Fluency is increasing your words per minute. Um, the thinking behind this is the easier the words come out, the more time your brain has to think about the comprehension, your understanding of the story. And so the activity that we're doing today is going to involve Mr. Bruss and I reading every other word. Again, with the thinking, um, as you do that, your eye is getting trained to look ahead on the page instead of just focusing on that one word. Um, there are different places where you can get um, passages to read. We have two of them listed here are free websites that you can register for. The nice thing about them is that they have grade level passages. Um, and don't be afraid to go up a level or down a level for your child, depending on how easily uh, oral reading comes to your child. Um, that's absolutely fine. The passage we're reading from today came from readworks.org. Uh, um, Newzella.com is also a good one. And also, if that's not a possibility for you to print these off, you also can use books that you have at your house. Just sometimes that's a little more challenging for kids it might be at a higher level than they're ready to read. And so what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna read the first word, Mr. Bruss is gonna read the second word. When you do this at home, you would do it for one minute, and then after that minute, you would switch, and Mr. Bruss will read the first word, and I would read the second word. We're not gonna go for an entire minute today. We're just gonna read through the first uh, paragraph of the article. Um, but you'll get an idea of what it looks like. So, eight year old Maya and her parents were on vacation. They were hiking in the Appalachian Mountains. The Appalachians are the longest group of mountains in eastern North America. These mountains start in the northern U.S. state of Maine. They end in the southern state of Georgia. So we would pretend that that had been one minute, and then we would switch, and Mr. Bruss will start us out this time. Eight year old Maya and her parents were on vacation. They were hiking in the Appalachian Mountains. The Appalachian are the longest group of mountains in eastern North America. These mountains start in the northern U.S. state of Maine. They end in the southern state of Georgia. So it's as simple as that. Then you could have your child finish the passage reading independently to themselves, or you can continue to read together if you want to. I believe both of these sites also at the, uh, offer comprehension questions. So if you do read through it together and you want to look at some of the comprehension questions, that's really good to do as well. So that's our little crest reading tip for today. Thanks.